If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 41 of the Dortmund Career Mode. Now today, as you can probably tell by the title, is an extremely important episode. Now, before I mention what's going to happen, do not click the link to the straw poll in the description until after you've seen the video because it's important and it will spoil the video that's upcoming. So uh, just stick around, watch the video first and then go ahead and vote in the poll because what you're eventually going to have to be able to do is vote on which of the two or which players for the two positions that we want to bring in actually finally get signed. We'll, uh, we'll go through the whole process of bidding for various different players in today's episode and then towards the end we'll actually get towards the finalising stage of two or three different deals plus a couple of others that you guys will be able to vote on. But as you can see we're looking for a centre mid. We bought in yesterday. If you missed yesterday's episode then uh, there'll be a link to it and there's an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen. But so uh, we linked to, uh, or we didn't to, we bought in Paul Pogba yesterday and uh, in a swap deal plus cash for Sami Khedira. The initial uh, idea was to keep Sami Khedira and only move on Mkhitaryan and Gundogan. But then Juve came in for Khedira and I, it was an opportunistic move and we just went for it. We offered Khedira for money plus Paul Pogba. They accepted. So we're still looking for the Gundogan replacement and we're still looking for a Mkhitaryan and Adrian Ramos replacement because of course we rather unexpectedly as well found ourselves selling our uh, former top scorer to, uh, to Borussia Mönchengladbach for twice the price that we expected we'd be able to get for him so we took advantage of that deal we took advantage of the Paul Pogba deal and we're trying to bring in a striker and a centre mid I brought oh I asked for votes in uh, on Twitter on Facebook and or not votes but you know suggestions on Twitter on Facebook and in the comment section of yesterday's episode Episode. And uh, you guys came up trumps, gave me loads and loads of different suggestions over the past two days for, uh, for players to go in to look at, to scout, to sign, and we're doing as much of that as possible over the next couple of days. We, of course, did that yesterday, and we brought in Pogba, sold on Mkhitaryan, Gundogan, and Ramos, and Sami Khedira brought in Pogba to replace Khedira. Still looking for the Gundogan replacement, still looking for an Adrian Ramos replacement. And, uh, of course, Mkhitaryan, we think we've got enough uh, central attacking mids at our disposal already to be able to adequately fill that void. So, as you can see, we've put in bids striker-wise for Gonzalo Higuain, Daniel Sturridge, Stevan Jovetic and Karim Benzema, who's now at Chelsea. When it comes to the midfielders, we're putting in bids for Aaron Ramsey, putting in bids for Miralem Pjanic. They were the two most popular of uh, the centre mid options that you guys, uh, you know, were preferring after yesterday's look at the shortlist. We're also putting offers in for William Carvalho, as you can see on screen as well. This time, we're offering £16.2 million for him because, uh, of course, Pogba does like to get forward as well as, um, you know, being on that defensive side of things. So, I would like a player that's more all-round than perhaps William Carvalho, but if we do get William Carvalho, if you guys vote for him, then, uh, you know, obviously he would be the one that would hold and then Pogba would drift forward. But as you can see, we've had the offer accepted for Karim Benzema and put in a contract offer for him. I'm having to be careful with the amount of money that I'm putting forward for each deal because we do need to bring in two players and I can't overspend on one position and then find myself running out of funds to spend on the second position because we do need a centre mid and a striker. It is imperative that we sign players in both positions for uh, for the depth of the squad, for the overall quality of the squad and for the sake of us trying to compete on all fronts this season. Of course, unfortunately, we're already out of the Deutsche Pokal thanks to that red card to Bernd Leno and uh, Schalke's then... Uh, demolition of us, demolition, demolition of us with uh, with Nevin Subotic in goal. As you can see, we've had the offer for William Carvalho accepted. We're putting in the contract offer for him now. Aaron Ramsey is a player that Arsenal were very very stubborn when it came to the price that he wanted for him. So I have now offered them the 23 million that they were very very assertive about wanting. Putting a contract offer in for Gonzalo Higuain as well. And after this game, there'll be a little bit more of that as well. But we'll go through into the game first. Of course, Borussia Mönchengladbach are a side that we sold Adrian Ramos to yesterday for £16 million. Our top scorer last year hasn't really done much for us this year. Marco Royce and Alessio Cerchi have been the main area or main two people that 
that have been scoring our goals for us this year. As you can see, we still sit top of the table with a game in hand on those behind us, thanks to an extremely good result away from home against Bayern Munich in yesterday's episode. Of course, we're now on Legendary and have been from the start of this week onwards, so it's not necessarily going to be an easy ride between now and the end of the season. But if we can build on yesterday's win, and hopefully if Alessio Cerci can be as potent as he has been all season, and more so than he has been in the opening two clips of this game, then we should be on target to retain our Bundesliga title. Of course, we won the league last year and were unfortunately knocked out in the Champions League, but won the Europa League after being knocked out in Europe and were knocked out early on in the Deutsche Pokal. Unfortunately, the Deutsche Pokal has still evaded us this year, but we're into the knockout stages of the Champions League and currently top of the Bundesliga table. So Alessio Cerchi, again, is at the heart of everything that's coming through this side. Plays the ball across to Piszczek, drills it across, and we said Marco Royce is scoring the most of our goals this year. That's his 12th, no, that's his 11th goal in the Bundesliga so far this season, and we're only in January. He's really, really coming up top trumps for us this year. Didn't score as many goals for us last year as we perhaps may have liked. Fortunately, Adrian Ramos scored over 30 goals in all competitions, which, uh, which saved us, but Royce there picking up now his 12th goal in the Bundesliga league of this season and I think it's 15th or 16th in all competitions I'll, I have to double check that for future episodes because we will have a squad report at the end of the transfer window as we normally tend to do so you guys can see who's progressing well and who isn't progressing well as we head towards the uh, the start of the third season as uh, you know we round out this second season but we came close to conceding uh, a goal there from Kramer right on the stroke at half time great technique on the volley unfortunately for him though he didn't quite find the bottom corner but they were going to step their game up second half although the first highlight is clearly going our way. Hyung Min Sun whips a great ball in and Churchy really should have put that header into the back of the net. Not his strongest uh, strongest attribute, has to be said, his heading. So uh, perhaps we could let him off slightly there, but the way he was missing shots with his uh, left foot earlier on, it would have been nice if uh, he could have put that into the back of the net. But a wonderful tackle there from Raphael on uh, on Mats Hummels. Squares the ball across to, you guessed it, Adrian Ramos scores against his former side in his first game against them. And we're back at 2-1. And I said that... Uh, that uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach stepped things up second half and they did but because they did so we were able to catch them on the counter attack as you can see Shakiri was in behind there just a poor first touch unfortunately Lee let him down and then uh, Chelsea hit the outside of the post coming the closest that he had done so far and then Sun's ball across unfortunately didn't find anyone but Shakiri is coming down here on the counter attack again down the uh, the right hand side squares the ball into Pogba and his first touch lets him down I can't decide whether that's just a poor first touch from Pogba that takes the pace off the ball or whether it was a poor ball from Shakiri that was perhaps a little bit further behind the run of Pogba than it could have been and if he'd played it a little bit further in front of the Frenchman he may have been able to hit that first time unfortunately Pogba no goal for him, but the Marco Royce brace is enough for us to give us a three point or three oh, to give us a two one win and a three point haul is what I was trying to say. But here are the things we have nailed down so far contract accepted for Higuain, contract accepted for Karim Benzema, contract accepted for William Carvalho. Bids still in for Daniel Sturridge, fee not yet agreed for the, the English striker from Liverpool. As you'll be able to see at the top, though, the transfer offer of £23 million for Aaron Ramsey has been accepted. So we are now offering Aaron Ramsey a contract, and uh, that is the state of that particular deal. So if you haven't already and you've been uh, well-behaved and disciplined, you won't have clicked on the, uh, the vote to now or to this particular point. Feel free to check that link to the straw poll in the vote right now down at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the description and uh, that vote will close at 4 p.m. this afternoon because of course I need to record tomorrow's episode before the end of the day so get voting right now feel free to uh, to link that vote out and try and get as many people to vote for your favorite player as you possibly can I I linked out on Twitter and Facebook yesterday so if you want to stay bang up to date with everything that goes on on the channel then be sure to follow me on Twitter and add me on Facebook so that you are, you are bang up to date with everything that goes on with this series because I do tend to do that quite a bit. I give Twitter and Facebook the uh, you know the first dibs on decisions that are made and sometimes the only decision or the only chance to uh, to decide on stuff that's made especially on Twitter so if you don't follow me over there do so there's links to uh, to Twitter Instagram and Facebook in the description down below as you can see we are now top of the table by six points ahead of Bayer Leverkusen and seven points from Bayern Munich 
Still a long way to go though. Still got 12 games left in the league. A lot of points still to be accrued. So hopefully we can maintain our top position. And hopefully you guys will decide on uh, which players we're going to attempt to bring in tomorrow. And uh, fingers crossed they can add what we need to the squad to give us that last bit of a push towards the top of or towards the end of the season to make so make sure we can stay top of the league but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching feel free to leave the video a like if you enjoyed that'd be absolutely superb if we could get over 150 again then uh, that would be really really kind of you of course like i say vote on that uh, on that poll right now it's open until 4 p.m i will take the final figures at 4 p.m this afternoon august the 28th so that i can get uh, friday's video made before I, uh, I go out for a meal tonight. So it's all go. It's uh, definitely all in the air right now. But fingers crossed, by this evening, everything will be nailed down. Of course, tonight you'll have a My Player episode, the 100th episode of that series, which will be a special video. Uh, so uh, be sure to check your sub boxes with that at 9 o'clock as always. If you don't know what and when I upload, there is a schedule in the description of every single video as on the About tab of the channel page as well. So be sure to check that so that you know exactly when to expect videos from me. And if you aren't subscribed at the minute and you would like to do so, so you don't miss out on any uh, FIFA 14 career mode stuff or Ultimate Team or, of course, so that you're prepared for when FIFA 15 starts in three or four weeks' time, then smash that subscribe button and uh, hopefully we can uh, rage on towards 19,000 subs as we just hit 18k as well. So Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like. Head over and have a vote as soon as you possibly can. And I will see you next time.